Hey guys, it's me Lily, and welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome back if you're not. Before we get started, yes, I did get highlights. Uh, yes, I did get highlights out of the way. Okay, so for today's video, I'm gonna be throwing you, throwing you. I'm gonna be showing you three DIYs to contain and store your necessities, such as candy, hairbrushes, um, bobby pins, hair ties, makeup brushes, candy. I already said that. Perfume. Um, anything. Pencils, pens. Hair straighteners, squishies, anything, honestly. Deodorant, perfume, jewelry, necklaces, which is jewelry, um, nail polish, everything galore. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, pretty much for the whole DIY in general, you can use paints, but I'm real lazy. And I do not have time for that to wait. So, I'm using markers, washi tape, tape, stickers, stencils, um, Glue, all galore, everything, really any craft supplies in general, and then, yeah, so, on to the first DIY. So, for this first DIY, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a DIY pencil holder, or a makeup brush holder, or anything, um, long, rectangular, I mean, long, I don't know where I got rectangular at, long, more longer, um, things such as scissors, pens, pencils, markers, pencils, oh, I already said that, lipsticks, uh, makeup brushes, such as, and etc. So all you will need for this is some scissors, some stickers, some decorating tape of your cho choice, markers, anything to decorate it, and, sorry about that, I fell, old shampoo or conditioner bottles, and you can use such as a big Tresemme one, or a big just hair conditioner from Dollar Tree, just empty it out if you really don't want the shampoo, or say you emptied it, or um, this as tiny as this little thing to put your tiny little baby makeup brushes in. It's up to you, but I'm going to be using this one today. So yeah. Now because the Tresemme bottles aren't stickers, they're just labels uh, it's going to be showing, but it won't bother me that much. So make sure you clean it and wash it out as I did. And you can take the cap off because you don't really need that. And mark how short you want it. And obviously uh, I would recommend using a white one because you can't really see that much on these. I was going to use a Sharpie, but obviously I'm going to work out. So I'm just going to mark my around right here. Actually, I think I'm going to move. I think, okay, right here. <laughs> right there. I think I'm going to mark mine right there. And then, with a parent supervision, oh my dad is right there, watching TV. Just kind of like, stab it. <laughs> so just find a way to stab it. So as strange as it sounds, I actually got a pencil to puncture a hole there after my scissors already kind of started, and it worked out for way better. Um, plus my sis my my sister my scissors aren't that sharp, so I doubt it'll help. So after your hole is punctured, what you're gonna do is just cut around it, and to where you just cut the front half off, and just do that all the way around. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just making the last cut. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and obviously it's wet because you can't just like take a paper towel and dry it from the inside. So I'm actually going to go get a paper towel and dry it now so it's not so wet. Okay, so I went and I dried it. Okay, so like it's shiny because the inside is shiny, but I swear it's dried. See? Okay, so the edges obviously aren't the cleanest slash perfect, perfect, I was going to say perfect it is. Um, so I'm just going to go back through and trim it off. Off camera. And now that I'm done, if you want or really necessarily think that you're going to use it that much, that you need to make it that perfect, you can take sandpaper and sand it around the edges. But what I'm going to do is just take some gold washi tape and put it around it so that you don't really see the harsh line. And with that said, that means decorate it. So now that I'm done decorating it, I just alternate it with these two in the black. The black. The bottom is still black, which is what I meant to say. 
which um, I don't mind because it looks honestly a little neater. And this is the only part that bothers me right here, but I don't want to trim it too short. So yeah. So now I just put my makeup brushes and mascaras in here, and I have these wherever I go. Number two is kind of simple and plain, but super useful. All you're going to need for this is a storage container such as this one, which I actually got at Dollar Tree. And I, it was uh, actually 54 cents, not a dollar, which is super good for me. Pretty hard plastic. Um, some washi tape, markers, stickers, emblems, or gems. Let's get it decorated. And this I'm going to use as a candy storage for my room to make it look neater. So I'm going to decorate it with super, super cute designs. In other words, start decorating. So my final product looks like this. And I didn't go too full out on this because I didn't want it to stand out. Go boom! I'm here. I want to stand out. So hey, come get candy from me. Like, I wanted it to be cute like that, so I just added some of these cute little heart stickers, and the whole thing is wrapped around love slash heart slash like slash candy, because everybody loves candy. And if you don't, then that's okay, because I'm not a big fan of it either. Um, so I just have, like, these heart stickers and peace stickers all around it. And then these this heart washi tape that just says love, um, hope, happy, joy, peace. You get them. And so now, let's just get filled with some candy. So now I just filled it up with some cute candy. And I'm just going to keep it on my desk. Right there. And have it. So I can eat all the candy. So next DIY is involving these thingies. And you can get these thingies anywhere from 50 cents all the way to three dollars this one was 75 cents at dollar tree because it didn't smell the greatest so we just kind of like put it in our bathroom until it got used up so to take this little like orange or whatever color yours is little thing out i'm gonna take some scissors pinch it and pull it out like that and throw it in the trash then we're going to decorate it. So I just decorated it with some scissors. Can I speak today? With some stickers. And let's go on to the next part. So the next part is to fill it with liquid. So the liquid that I chose was fruit punch. Um that's really all I had, honestly. And and I wouldn't recommend tipping it upside down. Obviously, it's open. But, so, I didn't tip it upside down because, knowing me, I would just one day be, like, cleaning my room. And, boom, it would, like, fall off. So, I just hot glued a piece of cardboard on there. And then put my blue um, post-it note on there. So, it would still look pretty when I opened it. Because it still has the smell to it. So, when you open it up, the smell will be going out, but it's a little kind of like potion thing, so like, it's a little potion, and it also moves, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you can just place this on your desk, and it'll smell so good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. I love you guys so much.